Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in again. We're going to learn how to do something effective with just two colours. I've got a couple of old photographs here that I took many years ago and it's time to use them. You won't need a lot of materials, two colours, burnt umber and cobalt blue and two brushes, a one inch flat and a number eight round. So let's get started and start by wetting the paper down with clear water, leaving some white spaces in the foreground. Use a strong mix of the two colours to start with until it resembles a dark grey and push this in to the wet area. This will form the dark distant tree line. I'm now going to finish this with some cobalt blue. Allow the colours to merge naturally with the water on the paper and don't push them around too much. As watercolour dries a little bit lighter, at least 20%, I'm going to strengthen this foreground dark a little bit by adding more of my mix to it. Now soften the edge with a damp brush and pressure. I'm going to slow this down so you can see it. Press the brush in, it's damp, and slowly go along the line of the dark. More of my dark wash on the right hand side for balance. Now I'm going to start on the foreground by making a few marks to direct the eye into the painting. I'm using a little bit more burnt umber here. Yeah, this warmer tone will help the eye move forward. And by the same token, the cobalt blue will help move the viewer's eye backwards in the picture space. Yeah, and have some fun with the foreground, creating textures, dragging the brush, adding water, creating soft and hard edges. But don't forget to leave some white space, otherwise you'll cover up all your lovely snow. I'm working that one inch brush backwards so that I can get my washes to fit with the background. Well now for the trees. I'm using a very dark mix of cobalt blue and burnt umber. It's important when you're doing things like this to use some brush pressure. Don't have too much water in the brush just enough to make soft marks and use the tip as well as the body of the brush. A scene like this is important to get a good range between dark and light. I'm going to paint all of my trees first before I put my figures in. Anyway, it's good practice to draw with a brush full of paint wet into wet. strengthening some of the darks here and now I'm almost happy with the stage setting for my figures. Can't wait to put them in. But before we do that, some more texture in the foreground and some lines leading the eye into the picture. Oh, this is almost pure pigment here. But I love to skip the brush across the paper. 
make it scumble and create texture on the surface. Now it's time for the first figure. Start off with the head first. The size of the head will determine the rest of the proportions of the figure. I'm not using very much water in the brush here, just enough to make the pigment skip across the white paper. should come to a nice fine tip and it's useful to do these kind of marks just using the tip I'm using a more liquid wash here to convey the idea of dissolving shadows Again, starting with the head of the figure, I'm going to move down the body and try to connect both of them. This is the same dark wash that I used earlier on. When you look back at your photographs, uh, try not to get involved in too much detail, just look for basic shapes. doing the figures separately I like them to form a group so you can see that they slightly overlap one another or connect and for these background figures I'm using a lighter shade of grey at this stage and um, I'm trying to merge them behind the other figures so that they look like they're in the distance figures until you, you're happy with the whole scene. I'm putting in a little bit of shadow here to help the eye and now finally two figures. I decided to go back to this figure and give him a longer coat, um, 
Now, finally, I'm using that dark to scumble across the foreground. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found this interesting. Still time to produce a few Christmas cards with this kind of scene. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you later. Thank you.